This is a subject that I have been aware of for some time and have been just keeping track and, and watching, reading up about it over a few years or so, just to see that these theories are actually, there's some scientific data behind it to back up these theories. And there is quite a lot now. And it's gaining more and more support by studies that are being done. And um, every single person that I have spoken to about this, not one single person, A, is aware of it, or B, even believes it. It's like, so if, if I tell you that I've got three years' worth of scientific study literature that I've read on this, you won't believe it. But I bet you, if you turn the TV on and you see it on the TV being told by a monkey, you'll believe it. Because people seem to believe anything they see on the TV. Artificial light may cause cancer. Okay? I'm talking about street lights, the lights in the bathroom, in the bedroom, just any artificial light at night time. What happens is artificial light, if you, if you are surrounded by artificial light, whether it's in your home or in the street or anywhere, what it does is that artificial light slows the production of the hormone melatonin. There's been studies done by universities, the scientists, etc., that they measured um, basically the nighttime light and the cancer rates in 164 countries. Okay, and what they found was the most brightly lit had the highest rates of prostate cancer. More than double those in the dimmest nations. So if you don't need to have the lights on, don't have them. You know, if you get up during the night to go to the toilet, don't turn the overhead light on. Feel your way. Or just have a, a little... Also, I just remembered, um, red lights. Having, having a red glow is much better than a white glow. Basically, red wavelengths cause like a less precipitous drop of the hormone, um, melatonin. So during one of these particular studies, um, his researchers tracked 18,000 um, post-menopausal women and reported that um, those with the lowest um, nighttime levels of melatonin were about 60% more likely to develop breast cancer. So basically, the idea is, and think of those people who are, are night people, people who work at night time, or people that stay up till two in the morning, who might have hours and hours and hours of artificial light at night time. It's not good for you. I mean, how can how can you minimise the possible risk by modern lighting? You know, from the exposure. I don't know. Sleep in a dark room for one. You know, you use blinds and shades. Like if you live on a bright street, like I don't, thankfully. But some people you know live on main roads and it's really bright. And you've got lights coming in. Get blinds to stop that light coming in and and being on you because that's giving you these cancer-causing rays, basically, that are going to reduce greatly the, the production of melatonin in your body. And if you don't have much melatonin in your body, you are a pretty good candidate for cancer, mostly prostate in men and breast cancer in women, but, you know, pretty much most cancers. But those are the two most prominent ones that they've discovered in this study. Turn off your lights at night time. Close your curtains, your blinds, the choice is yours.